think these are gonna take a while to bake. Do you wanna go ask Daddy to read you a sprout story while we wait? Yeah! Hi, I'm Cindy Morgan. My kids just love those little moments of the day when we settle in to read a good book together. My husband Sigmund and I recently discovered a wonderful new line of children's books that our kids love. The Seedling and Sprout series from Waterbrook Press. Waterbrook Press is pleased to present the Seedling and Sprout series of storybooks and Bibles, perfect for children ages 0 to 7. Young children are constantly learning, so now is a perfect time to introduce their tender hearts to the God who created them. Each book in the Seedling and Sprout series is artfully designed with vibrant colors and contemporary illustrations that bring children into lively adventures to nurture their young faith. The Seedling and Sprout series, seeds of faith for a lifetime of growth. Olivia, do you want to read a story? Yeah! Okay, Purple Spot Sickness. I can see two la -di da birds, said Sprout. I count three, answered his friend, Twig. Four! I see four! I win! Sprout shouted, looking around. I wonder where Petal is this morning. They had been waiting for much longer than usual, and there was still no sign of her. If she didn't arrive soon, they would be late for school. Mr. Nectar would be worried about them. Where could she be? Sprout and Twig waited and waited. The la -di da birds sang again from high up above. Twig glanced at his watch. It was almost nine o'clock. Let's not wait anymore. I think we should wait just a little longer. But Petal still didn't arrive. Just as the two were about to leave, they saw her coming slowly down the path, dragging her bag. Where have you been? Twig called. Hurry up, it's nearly nine o'clock. Uh, I'm going as fast as I can. Sprout took her hand. Come on, we're late. They set off down the path as fast as they could, tugging on Petal's hands. The three friends arrived and everyone had taken their seats already. They slid into their chairs quickly. Mr. Nectar came into the room and asked them to take out their reading books. They worked hard all morning. When it was time for recess, everyone jumped up to go outside and play, except for Petal. She just sat in her seat with her head on the desk. Mm, Petal, is something wrong? Asked Mr. Nectar. The rest of the class crowded around to see her. I feel awful, moaned Petal. Suddenly, a bright purple spot appeared on her hand. Then another one appeared on her arm, and another one on her cheek. Before long, Petal was covered with bright purple spots. Oh no, said Mr. Nectar. You have purple spot sickness. We need to get you home to bed. Uh, don't worry. In a few days, the spots will be gone and you will feel much better. Everyone stared at Petal. You look funny, Petal, <laughs> someone said, and everyone giggled. She looks like a blueberry muffin, another student said, laughing. <laughs> yes, he looks like a blueberry. <laughs> Soon the whole class laughed and pointed at Petal. Blueberry muffin, blueberry muffin, blueberry muffin. <laughs> Poor Petal just stood still. A big tear ran down her cheek. Stop right now, said their teacher. This is no way to treat a friend. Sprout stepped forward and took Petal's hand. Come on, let me take you home. I'll help you too, said Twig. The two friends helped Petal all the way home. After Petal's mom had settled her into bed, they brought her a cool drink of dewberry juice. Then Sprout and Twig fluffed up her pillows, read her a story, and they all played some board games. You rest now, Sprout said. We'll be back after school to see how you're doing. Back at school, purple spots popped up everywhere. One by one, Sprout's friends became sick and covered with spots. Even Mr. Nectar had a big purple spot on his head. Over the next few days, Sprout and Twig were very busy helping their sick friends. They didn't have time for anything else. 
They fluffed up pillows, poured cool drinks of dewberry juice, made tasty snacks, read stories, and played games until they thought they would drop. Soon, everyone was feeling better and ready to go back to school. But more purple spots appeared. Only this time, the spots were all over Sprout and Twig. I feel awful. The two groaned. Their friends crowded around them. But this time, no one laughed. I know how bad you feel, said Petal. Now it's my turn to help you feel better. I'll help too, another classmate said. And so will I, offered someone else. And me. Everyone wanted to help them. So Sprout and Twig were helped to their homes and into their beds. Their friends took care of them. They fluffed up their pillows, read them stories, brought them cool dewberry juice to drink, and made tasty snacks for them to eat until the two friends felt better. Give me another story, Daddy. Oh, there's the timer. The cookies are ready. Let's go again. As a father, I'm always looking for stories that reinforce her family's values. As an author, I appreciate it when those stories are well told and show imagination. The Seedling and Sprout series was created to plant seeds of faith in young hearts. The colorful characters, clever stories, and whimsical artwork offer repeated enjoyment for kids of all ages. As a parent, there's nothing that pleases me more than seeing Olivia begin to embrace the simple truths of God for herself. Cindy and I see the Seedling and Sprout series as a great way to nurture and reinforce biblical principles we're already teaching. <laughs> How about a seedling story this time? Okay. Oh, this one is my favorite. I'll trade you a cookie if you let me read it. Super Duper Sunday Sleepover. One morning at breakfast, Seedling's mommy said, Daddy and I have plans tonight. You'll sleep at Grandma's house instead. But Seedling slowly shook his head and heaved a great big sigh. I don't want to go to Grandma's. Then he began to cry. Mommy placed him on her lap and held him very tight. You'll have lots of fun at Grandma's. It's only for one night. We'll pack your new pajamas, toothbrush, and teddy bear. Let's ask God to be with you. So they prayed a little prayer. See you later, Mommy said as she wiped away a tear. She hugged him tight and whispered, Remember, God is near. Seedling gave a little smile and tried his best to hide that he was feeling very sad way down deep inside. For dinner, Grandma made all his favorite food, but Seedling couldn't eat. He just wasn't in the mood. Afterward, he and Grandma sat down to play a game but without his mommy there, it wasn't quite the same. Next, they tried to build a fort, but it came tumbling down. When he saw the pile of blocks, Seedling began to frown. Suddenly, Grandma smiled and asked, I have a great idea, my dear. How'd you like to go skating? We can do it right in here. Seedling looked at her and said, That would be very nice. But how can we go skating when there isn't any ice? Yes, I know, but watch this, his grandma replied. And kicking off her shoes on the floor, she took a slide. Oh, oh boy, Seedling said as he quickly joined the fun. And all across the floor, they twirled and swirled and spun. Round and round they went till they could go no more. Then. With a final twirl, fell laughing to the floor. That was so much fun! Breathlessly, he gasped. Would you like one more surprise? Grandma sweetly asked. Then Seedling and Grandma filled a bowl with ice cream, strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate supreme. They added cherries, nuts, and sprinkles, and topped it all with cream to make the biggest sundae that he had ever seen. And when it was all gone, Grandma said, Let's brush your teeth and wash your face. It's time to go to bed. Good night, sleep tight, she said as she kissed him on the cheek. Seedling snuggled down and whispered, 
Can I come again next week? This is such a wonderful series to introduce to your family. The Truth Seedling and Sprout uncover our lifelong principles your kids will learn right along with them. A list of thoughtful questions at the end of each story gives your family an opportunity to discuss your faith together. The Seedling and Sprout series are books we plan to have around our house for a very long time to come. So maybe you should take a look.